So about a year and a half ago, I put together some homemade MREs and I showed you guys how to do it. Well, today, we're going to test them out a year and a half later after they've been stored in suboptimal conditions. I should have said we're going to test one out. I still have the other one. I'm going to let the other one run a little bit longer and see how that one holds up. But today I want to test this out. Now the cool thing about videos like this is they give me the opportunity to give you guys some ideas about what you can put into some homemade MREs if you don't want to or can't afford to buy the more expensive ones. These can be made so much cheaper. You can stack them away and they're fairly good. Now this one, I made it February 17, 2018. So it's a little over a year and a half. And I had it out here in the garage. And I put it in bags when I first did it. I put it in the short little Ziploc bags, those quart bags. And about two months later, I figured, you know what, I'm going to seal them up with my new, I got a new uh, vacuum sealer. So I sealed them up. And this has been sitting over on my area where I have all my stoves and gas and all my storage um, in here for videos. And uh, it's just been sitting there. I wanted to see how it would hold up. So it's been through extreme cold and extreme heat as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it open and we're going to go through everything. I'm going to heat up the food, see if it's still good. And uh, while we're heating up the food, we're going to test out all the other stuff that doesn't need cooking. So let me get that all set up and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to cut into this guy here because these don't have peel apart seals. There we go. And here's what I put in it. I'll take it out part by part here. Some Uncle Ben's rice, some peanut butter crackers, some peanuts, a juice pouch. Yeah, I know, they're just for kids, but you know what? I like them. <laughs> Fork and uh, a, a napkin. Some beefsteak Slim Jims. I'm almost positive these will be okay, because I've stored these in my vehicle for years at a time. And they've been fine. And, of course, my favorite. Two things of Spam, because that's a whole lot of rice, and I figured this might make a meal and a half to two meals. So, got that. And let's dump out all the other goodies. All right, we have an apple sauce. It's gonna be interesting to see if that holds up. Uh, we've got a coffee, so I'm gonna be boiling some water to make some coffee. We've got a Propel. So I'm gonna dump that in my uh, thing there and see if that's still good. And a moist towelette and a salt and pepper. So you don't necessarily need everything in here for setting up your own uh, homemade MRE, but um, I wanna do as complete as possible and again, all of this, except for the coffee, of course, is edible cold, so it really is an MRE. Um, but we're going to heat it up and see how it tastes. So let me get the burner going with that stuff and uh, chop up the uh, spam, and we'll try out all the other stuff. All right, I'm going to open these up, take them out, make sure they smell good. Yep, they smell like spam. And for those of you that hate spam, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like it. And I also think it's a really neat way to get some uh, meat protein in your things like this, as well as your food storage. Now I'm just going to chop this up into chunks here. Nothing too fancy. Isn't really the right knife to be using for it, but what the heck. There we go. That's good enough. And what I'm going to do with the rice is put that in after the Spam is cooked a little bit. Um, I would just boil this because really this is pre-cooked, but I don't want to put it all in and I don't want to cook it all right now. So I'll just toss some in the pan, you break it up. Just break it up inside there, you can break it up before you open it, which is probably a better idea. <laughs> and we will uh, test it out. It smells okay. Let's take a taste here real quick. Tastes fine. So, what I'm probably going to do is pour a little bit of water in there. And once the Spam is done, toss that in there with a little bit of water, some rice, mix it up, and see how it cooks up. So let me get that going, and then we'll try all the other stuff. Alright, we got the Spam going in the background there. I'm going to try out the Propel. Now, I'm pretty sure the Propel is fine. Um, I have used this stuff, they carried it in my bag. You know, in my little daily carry bag. And it's been... Uh, good all that time. One thing I will tell you about this is this particular type of Propel. You may want to drink more water out of that than that. I kind of just took a little sip out so it would fit in. Um, it doesn't taste as good. 
it tastes like somebody dropped a little bit of sugar in water, but it still will give you the benefit of getting yourself hydrated. Yeah, and that's actually not horrible. That actually came out pretty good. Let's try out the crackers. Let's test out the crackers here. They should be fine because they've been sealed all this time. There you go. They're a little soft. Not bad, but you can tell moisture got to them because they're a little soft. Not stale at all, but definitely not as fresh as you want crackers. Well, again, nothing bad about them. Just a little on the soft side, but still edible. The peanuts, of course, I'm almost positive they'll be fine. Let's take some out. Yep. They're good. So, so far, what we've learned is maybe crackers aren't the best thing to store. They didn't taste bad, but they did get a little soft. So, move on to the Capri Sun. Let's see if this is any good. I literally have no idea on the shelf life of this. Tastes fine. Doesn't taste bad at all. Tastes like fruit punch. Let me get rid of these stupid nuts. <laughs> I'm still trying to chew them and talk at the same time. Anyway, yeah. That tastes perfectly fine. So we know that's good. Applesauce. I'm not quite sure how this works. Hmm. Pop the top off and squeeze it out. Mm hmm. That's still perfectly good. That's still good. Alrighty. And lastly, cut this open. This stuff here, Slim Jim. Yep, nothing wrong with that. And that's another 50 calories, as it says on the top there. Nothing wrong with that at all. So, let's move on to throwing our rice in here. And I'll turn on the heat over here. I have another burner for the coffee. And see how that turns out. And just pitch some rice in here. Obviously, that's a lot of rice in one of these things, so. I wish I could find a smaller Uncle Ben's version, but that was all I could really find at the time. And I just like to break it down like this, because it'll come out in chunks. So, let me finish this up, get the water hot for the coffee, and I'll bring you back and let you know how this came out. All right, that looks good. Turn that off. Coffee looks ready. Water, at least. Let's get that there, just in case those are warm. They're not too bad. Pour it in there. There we go. Put that back on the burner. We'll mix it up. So as you can see, for not a lot of money, you can set yourself up with some really good food um, for camping, for emergencies, um, pretty much anything, you know, and the only thing that I'd really say was kind of, eh, were the, uh, the crackers. They weren't bad. They didn't taste horrible. They were just stale. You know, they're kind of soft. Um, so, for a very small amount of money, you can do this. I mean, I'm thinking the Spam Singles are a buck each. That's about, I don't know, 75 cents. These you can buy in a case for like $4. These are 50 cents each. Um, this I bought a pack of eight. For like a dollar, these are these are probably the most expensive things in here, and they're probably like two fifty for four or five of them. Because so I remember I got a bunch, and I had a few because I like apple juice. I mean applesauce. So everything withstood pretty well. Let's taste the coffee out quick. Yep, that's good. Now let's take a look at the, and I still have lots of rice left in that. But let's take a look at this and see. Remember, this isn't something you eat every day. This isn't gourmet food. Mm -mm -mm. I love Spam and Rice. I know, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Some people really hate it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, you can see for a few bucks, you can put together MREs. Um, if you buy this stuff in bulk, 
you know, if you've got, you've got a Sam's Club or something, and you buy cases of this, this, and this, you can put together a very large amount of food for emergency preparation, very simply. Um, really easy to do. Again, this wasn't in my car where it would get like 120 degrees in there in the summer, but this was out here in the garage, and during the, uh, why well, I filmed my videos early in the, <laughs> early in the morning and uh, during the summer, during the summer months, it can easily get over 100 in here, no problem. So, um, you see it works, even stored in less than optimal conditions. I would imagine if you stored this in your house, um, and I, these might have not even gone stale or soft and mushy, sort of, if I vacuum packed them earlier. So, you can imagine if you've done this in your house, and kept these in your house for emergencies and ready to hand out or take with you in an emergency, they'd be good to go. Plus, it saves so much money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link down below to the original video where I made two of these. And I have about three more. I'm going to save another one for another year out. And it's the one with, I believe it has rice and chicken in a bag. There are so many other options other than Spam 2 now with these individual, fold, um, individual foil wraps. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. You know, there's the chicken, there's tuna. There are the little complete meals now that have meat in them. There's so much you could do. And uh, so many ways to put it together. So it's definitely worth checking out. Anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I just, you know, I was sitting around the other day going, you know, I never tested those out after a year. And I said I was going to. So that's what they look like and taste like after a year. Um, all in all, you know, hey, I'd eat every bit of it. I'd even eat the crackers that are a little bit soft <laughs> if I was hungry enough. So not bad. For those of you that maybe... Uh, Work in an office, and you don't want to be lugging in military-looking MREs. You can take a couple of these, stuff them in your desk for emergencies. You definitely want to be able to have some food with you no matter where you go. And this is an awesome way to do it. Real, real simple. So, anyway, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out our Amazon store down below. I will put the link to the original video for making these together down below. But below that is our Amazon store. Just click the link. Shop as you normally would. Um, if you don't see anything in the store you like, and uh, it really helps out the channel. And coming up soon, probably, I'm guessing my next video will be another Thrive Life video, so don't forget to check out that. i got a ton of stuff coming in from them. Not a ton of stuff, but a lot of stuff. And some of it we're going to actually test out and see how it tastes. I want to show you the order that I got in, so uh, don't forget to check it out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.